vehicles, um, and you can place the buildings on this um, this round uh, plate like thing that's the city where the city is placed. Um, um, sometimes, um, if if there's no atmosphere, um, a dome will appear over it, so um, they don't asphyxiate, um, and it has little guns that it can defend itself with. Um, or you can have a fleet of your own ships or ground vehicles. Uh, they come in three types. You can have um, combat vehicles, um, vehicles built for combat, vehicles built for trade, vehicles built for um, tra um, um, mining or creeks. Um, actually, it might be four vehicles. And um, there's also vehicles built um, that are religious. Um, and they, they kind of have, um, they're kind of defensive, um, they can stop people from attacking if you have enough of them. Um, they can stop other, um, other, uh, there's no player, it's no player against player action in this game. It's just you against spores, either made by the, um, Maxis themselves, the, uh, the people who made the game, Maxis at, um, EA, or spores from other players if you've allowed them into your game or have subscribed to a particular player's spore. Some players have re make very good spores and um, a lot of people have subscribed to them um, just, just so they, they can uh, have them in their game. Um, of course if you don't want a particular player's spores, if you don't like their spores anywhere near you, um, you can have them banned. Um, anyway, um, see the trees and that, um, trees can be transplanted too and replanted on other planets and, um, uh, planets can be, um, terraformed to support life. You can actually, um, in the space stage you can terraform planets, you're given the tools to, um, uh, do anything with the uh, landscape and, and uh, make it ha ha habitable, more habitable uh, for your spores. Um, where you can design. And anyway, the the religious vehicles they um they work defensively. Um, you can pit them against attacking um, vehicles from um, other cities and um, uh, hold them off while um, you get your other vehicles to um, attack them or whatever. Or, or um, while you can get them to be held off while you attempt to make friends with them, uh, uh, friends with their city, um, whatever. Here's the space stage. There's the ship rising from the planet. There's the sun. It's very uh, pretty, uh, but it's all very uh, cartoon-like and um, sort of uh, very chunky-looking. Um, I, I could ima imagine this with um, Elite Dangerous's um, appearance um, uh, graphics. It would be, uh, it'd be awesome. Uh, awesome uh, if they made a crossover game. Um, here's a ship design tool. That's um, that's how you. That's a tank, and that's all the parts that you can. You can place parts anywhere. Some parts actually have an effect um, on how well it works. Um, they can make it faster or. Um, they can give it more firepower, or make it more defensive, um, give it more health, um, give it better armor. Um, it all costs, you only have a limited amount of um, points to spend on each each vehicle you make. Um, it's been a while since I've done it, so I'm not sure how, how it works. Um, let's just go here. It's another video. I love that. That happens every time you play the game, you get that um, special effect. This is how the game starts. Yeah, this is uh, asteroid hits the planet. And that's where life starts. Yeah. Yeah, 
that's the uh, that's the game box I got. It's um, it's a limited edition. That's the. I forget his name. Um, that's the guy. He also made the Sims. I don't think he's like, he's no longer in charge. That's a little booklet you get with it. That's what I was trying to tell you before. It's kind of fun. That's how space stage works. Capture that planet. Your ultimate goal, though, at the end of the day, is to expand that empire and push your way towards the center of the galaxy. Yeah, I never made it that far. Have a look at this stage. Yeah, it's an EA game. That's why the EA, you see the EA logo, which is the same on the... Uh, Tired of your universe? Why do you want to go to Galilee? Which way to the jungle? Uh, here, here's the, uh, how it starts. What do you want to be when you evolve? It's uh, evolving creatures. Uh, Animal? Vegetable? Whatever. Are five eyes really enough? Do you believe in creationism? How do you get from point A to point B? Looking for a good time? Does this ecosystem come in any other flavors? Yes or no? High or low? Near or far? Planet or star? How will you create the universe? Download the free Spore Creature Creator at Spore.com. Let it be to be 10 plus. See, uh, you can download the uh, Creature Creator for free. Right. So I can do it free. Mm -hmm. I have a copy too. Uh, uh, a physical disc copy. Um, I never use it anymore, but I keep it as a... Um, you've already seen this video.
this is this must be Galactic Adventures. Um, it takes it a little bit further in this game, and I've never played this part, but I've, I've got the expansion. Um, I may even video tape, um, video record, record a video of me playing. Um, I have it on. Um, There he is. Um, there's the small creature creator. There it is. This is how it works. Alright. You ask for it, you'll get it. Can any of you handle the horses? How do we just ride? I mean handle. Welcome to the Spore Creature Creator tutorial. My name is John Simino. I'm an animator and artist on Spore. And I'm gonna walk you through building a creature. The first thing you need to know when you're using editor is how to move the camera around. So simply just click your mouse button and drag around and you can rotate the camera. You can also rotate the camera using these uh, arrow keys at the bottom. If you notice next to them you have a plus and minus button that you can zoom in and out. You can also zoom in and out holding shift, right clicking and dragging up and down as well as using the plus and minus buttons on your keyboard. Alright. Now that you know how to use the camera, we can start building a creature. You'll notice that in the center of your dives, you have a torso. If you highlight over the torso, you'll see that there's a spine. If you use your mouse wheel, you can scale the spine up and down. If you select the torso, you'll notice you'll get these two arrows. If you pull on either one, you can stretch the spine out, or shrink it down on either side. If you grab the torso underneath the spine, you can move it around and around the dives. And if you grab the spine on the spine, you can actually change the shape. So I'm going to manipulate this guy into a position that I like. Is that what you meant? Well, so now that I have the body the way I want it, I'm going to start adding some parts. So notice on the left, you have a whole selection of different parts. Of the eyes of the now, I'm going to grab them out. I'm just going to look for something to drink. I've actually finished my bourbon. The ball here controls the location, so you can cut your whole part. And the arrows change the morphology. So you can look at the ball in the back of this way. And it kind of like that. Okay, so now I have a creature with a head, and I need to add some eyes. So I'm going to look at that. You can scale parts just like you scale a spine with the mouse wheel. So you have to teach these good women how to drive mules out of Tangle it with the rotation wheel. I'll just one more thing get this. Stay away from my men. Okay. So now I'm gonna add some ears down here. Just snap it on there. Stretch it out with the knife handles. Okay, now the creature with a finished head. If you select a head or any part and pull it off, and those will glow red. If I'm to let go right now, it deletes that and refunds all the DNA that I spent into my bag. If I come down here and press this button, I will undo that change. So, anytime you make your stop, I'll just
Alright, so now I have a creature with a head, and I need to give him some wings. So I'm going to go to the little palette, grab a pair of legs, and stick it on there. Oops, you notice if you look at the limbs and the mouse around them, they are made up of joints. And the joints you can actually pull and manipulate to get any kind of length or strength you want. So, you can make the picture look like this. There are a few advanced controls in the other one as well. For instance, if you want to duplicate a part, like say you want another one of these lines exactly the same way, if you hold Alt while dragging it, duplicate it. So there are these four legs, and they are exactly the same. A little ninja speak. Okay. Um, now I'm going to add some arms. Okay. Now, you can also, there are another, there's some more advanced controls, you can also break limbs apart. So if I want hold control and select the limb, you can tear it in half and then delete the part. Now you just have this one side. Also, you can duplicate it by holding hold like I did before. And if I hold control, it will snap into an available joint. So this way, you can create one. Just the, uh, <laughs> okay, so, but I think I'll just stick with you know, the traditional type of two legs. Maybe scale up his forearms a bit. I think I'm going to swap out his hands with some of the Make him look a little bit more intimidating. He likes that. Alright, let's get him on his wrist. I think I'm pretty happy with his creature, so I'm just going to call him down. So now the next step is to name him. So I'm going to go down here, click the name button, and I can either pick the name, write it in, or use the dice, the die, to uh, randomly generate. So, works. Okay. In the description section, I can write a sentence or two about my creature that other players might get to read if they are encountering him. Can you cook? In the tag section, I can add adjectives that describe my creature. So if someone's searching for someone like Kundra, they will be able to find it easier. So I can just write. Uh, it's goofy. <laughs> So now, you know, people will be able to look through and find him there. Alright, so when you're done, click on the button. And then come down here and get save. This saves your creature. What do you mean? You ain't going. I meant what I said. Stay away from the That is it. That is how you make your creature. Don't do that. You ain't going. Sorry about that. Um, I'll just show you these pictures. And actually, there's, there's more videos. Um, that looks like another one.
Teresa and I'm going to show you how I make a praying mantis in the editor. This spine is nothing like what I want, so I'm going to shrink it down, move it around, contract it, and drag it out. Now, I'll change the angles a bit and expand a couple of these vertebrae so I have a nice abdomen section. And let's make this green because it's praying mantis. Now I'm going to add a mouth. We'll make this a little bit wider, a little bit shallower, and I'll scale it up. I'll nest some mandibles inside. Scale those up first. And now place them where I want them to go. I'll add some insect eyes. Again, scaling these up a lot. Even there. there we go. And pop some insect on them. And these can be lengthened. And now I'm ready to add arms. I'll come to the arms palette, drag some on, remove the hands, and add claws. Pull the elbows back. Pull these in a little bit more. And reorient the claws. Now that looks like it's praying. I'll add legs. Maybe it just looks like man's legs. That's okay. I can hold control to add one leg to the other. Remove the feet. Stretch out the segments so I can see what I'm doing. Hold control and remove the segments so I can I'll pull these back. Make a nice and skinny like mantis legs. And add some insect feet. Scale these up. Pull this back. And now I'm going to make some other legs by copying these rather than creating them.